hey everyone welcome to my youtube channel again in this video we're gonna learn how can we add page ignition using node.js and mongodb uh, basically uh i had create a product api and uh, if i hit that there you can see uh, there is total count of product is uh, 15 and after that i'm getting list of uh, all of my products so I want to just add page ignition so that uh, I can get the data which I request. Suppose uh, uh, I'm expe expecting only five products at a time so I can make a request accordingly and on next request I'll request for next five products and so on. So let's quickly do it. First of all, uh, let me close uh, the node server and uh, after that uh, inside the product get all what i need to do uh, i need to uh, use page and limit means uh, for a page how much product you want so i'm gonna use const and inside it i'm gonna use uh, some destructuring as well so first of all i'm gonna use page one and uh, limit is equal to 1 and the limit should be equal to 10 and it should be from uh, request dot uh, query uh, means uh, like uh, by default uh, if uh, I'm not gonna pass uh, any page uh, or limit it will it will uh, give me only 10 products at a time and next thing what I need to do like uh, after uh, find all of products uh, I need to use here dot and there I have to pass the limit and for limit I'm gonna pass the limit star it should be multiplied by one and next thing I'm gonna use skip like after uh, fetch uh, uh, suppose uh, 10 product I need to uh, when the next request came I need to uh, skip the previous 10 product from uh, our database to be fetch and then I have to uh, fetch the next 10 products so I have to make uh, here skip and then I have to use uh, page minus one and uh, let's quickly take it inside uh, the parenthesis and i'm gonna multiply it with the value of limit so that uh, it, it can skip the already fetch the data already fetch data so let's quickly save this and uh, now we have limit and uh, sk all we are sp skipping the fetch data as well so if i'm going to start server let's see what will happen there we go like uh, at first time i'm getting only 10 document by default and uh, if i gonna pass any params here like uh, we have page and uh, for page i'm gonna pass the value of one and then uh, i'm gonna use uh, the limit here as well so for limit i'm gonna just uh, send the value of two let's see what is what will happen there you can see I got uh, only total uh, two products and uh, we have one and two two products inside uh, the array I can limit accordingly as uh, per my requirement like uh, if I gonna pass the four or uh, let's see uh, too quickly one more example like if I'm gonna pass the product two and uh, I had already fetched the uh, name test and test one two three. Uh, if I'm gonna request for uh, the second page, there you can see uh, we had test one two three and test one two three four here. Means uh, the product uh, we fetched already in previous page, they are skip and it is providing me the next page product. So. Uh, 
that's uh, how simply we can add uh, page ignition uh, in our REST API using Node.js and MongoDB. So if you enjoyed the video, then please like it. And if you are new, please subscribe to the channel.